Hi, this is Monica. Welcome back to my channel, Suds and Bees. In today's video, we will be making a strawberry vanilla face wash gel. If you remember a few weeks ago, I made an anti-aging moisturizing gel with strawberry and vanilla floral water. I have been using that moisturizing gel every day and I can't get enough of that scent. So I decided to make this moisturizing face wash. I have emulsified this face wash with Septimax Zen because it is more forgiving to electrolytes and allowing it to have surfactants in it. This is a very mild face wash, yet very cleansing. I decided to add three mild surfactants, totaling up to 12%, which still makes for a gentle wash, but you feel cleansed after washing your face. So before we go and make it, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. So come on, let's go make it. So today I will be making a 100 gram batch um, and I will be using a 250 milliliter beaker for the whole formula. So we will start that with phase A. Uh, so we will start with 10 grams of vegetable glycerin. Okay, and to the glycerin, I will be adding two grams of uh, Septimax Thin. This is going to be our gelling agent and emulsifier. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and mix this. When it gets really um, gooey, okay. Put this aside. For face B, in this 100 milliliter beaker, I have added 22 grams of distilled water. And to this, I will add 30 grams of strawberry fruit essence. Just right here, strawberry fruit essence. Ten grams of the vanilla bean floral water. And you don't want to add more than 10% because um, if you get the Voyager brand, uh, it's pretty strong. Three grams of D.O. Panthenol. And I want to add this directly into the liquids before I add anything else because I want my D.O. Panthenol to dissolve. Okay, so you want to go ahead and mix. I'm just gonna let it sit here until it's fully dissolved and I'll be back and add the rest of the ingredients. Okay, so now that the D.O. Panthenol has dissolved, I will be adding, how much am I adding? 1.5 grams of silk peptides. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and mix them. Okay, once you've mi mixed it, you can use a mini mixer for a faster uh, process or you can wait until your wrist is about to fall off. <laughs> so now I'm going to add some jojoba milk. Um, I'm trying to use this up. This is supposed to condition your skin and hair. Um, they don't sell this anymore. Uh, I think I got one of the last batches. So what you can do is add some rice protein. Um, like I said, I'm just trying to use this up so I'm adding this. So I will be adding two grams. Okay, and mix this up again. Okay, and for my last ingredient in phase B, I will be adding the preservative, Liquid Dermal Plus, and I will be adding that at 0.5 grams of that. Go ahead and mix that in. Now we're going to grab our face A and pour our face B into face A. And now the reason I did it like this, you can actually pour everything in face A, but I just want to make sure my powders are fully dissolved before I pour it into here. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this to sit here for a few hours. I'm going to take this little spatula off because I will be whisking it with a tiny whisk later on. And I'm going to cover this up. Um, I'll be back in a few hours. Uh, we'll make our face D and we'll mix it in and then we'll be ready to package. See you soon. So it's been about 24 hours. Um, I did come and check it yesterday after four hours and I still saw some um, Centimax Zen that was still not dissolved. So I decided just to wait until today. So here's what it looks like. Um, it's pretty dissolved. So I recommend just waiting 24 hours. Uh, maybe come give it a stir after a few, maybe four or five hours, and then uh, waiting until the next day to finish it off. It smells amazing. I really love this scent. But that's because I love strawberry yogurt. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to make uh, face D. Okay, so here I'm going to add seven grams of um, coconut fractionated oil. Um, I'm going to be using this because it is a wash off product. I really like this oil and it's also very inexpensive. I don't really like using my high end oils for a wash off product. So I use this or something similar. It's also very gentle to remove makeup and all. So seven grams. Okay, so at this point I will be adding uh, pink coral mica. Uh, if you remember when I made the anti-aging uh, gel moisturizer, I used the primrose oil. No, I used the rosehip unrefined oil to give it that pink color. Again, that oil is too expensive for a wash off product, so I will be using mica. You can just leave it alone too if you want to, but because of, of Valentine's and so on, I'm making it uh, pink. Normally I don't add mica to face products. But as you see, it's very little mica, so. I'm gonna be adding four grams of Capillyl capillyl glucoside, which is a very gentle surfactant. It's going to give us a nice foam. So four grams of this. I will also be adding four grams of coca medropopyl betaine. I have such a hard time saying this name, so we'll just say coca betaine. This is a very mild surfactant. It's great for sensitive skin. So four grams of this. I will also be adding foaming apple. It's a very gentle surfactant as well. Uh, I felt it was kind of cool to add foaming apple to the strawberry hydrosol. So four grams. Ugh. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and mix. This is where you want to mix it um, thoroughly because once we add it to the other concoction, it'll bubble up too much. Okay, we'll bring up the first beaker. Then we whisk. It gave it that really, really light pink. Um, just very, very subtle, which is a, which is what I wanted. Kind of like a strawberry yogurt. Now to package this, I'm using a 100 gram uh, squeezy tube. I have not used these before, but I have seen Marie from Humble Bee and Me use a syringe and she squeezes it as she puts it into the container. Um, I got these a long time ago and I have like 25 of them and I've never used them because of my fear of putting the product inside. So let's go ahead and try this. So squeeze. 
<laughs> this is hard. Uh, hold on, maybe I should just put it first. I see that she doesn't. Oy. Okay, maybe that's why she does it like that. Oy. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy moly, this thing's coming out of here. I'm trying to... <laughs> it's a mess. Okay. Just squeeze it. Okay, you know I'm picking all this up again and... I'm not losing product. Good thing this is for me. I think if I were going to gift this, I'd just put it in a pump top. i got to watch some more videos on how they feel these little tubes. You know, I'm trying to wonder if using this syringe will be easier just to suck it in instead of putting it through the top. First of all, this syringe is just enormous. It's unnatural. Let's see if I can just... No, it sucks so much air. <laughs> That's why they do it that way. Okay. I refuse to use to lose my product. Like I said, if you're gifting this, don't do this. Oh shit! <laughs> Even all over the curtain. Yeah, I think we're cooking with gas here, people. It literally squirted all over my curtain. Okay, so squeeze out. <gasps> okay, come on. Okay, I'm giving up on this little... Oh, <laughs> I think it's pretty full, right? <laughs> what a mess. Okay, okay, I literally had to go walk out and wash my hands. Uh, some alcohol. And I'm just, um, just, you know, cleaning it up, tightening it up. That was really difficult you doing these. Props to Marie from Humble Bee and Me for doing it. I don't know if you've ever seen her do it on her videos. But she's like, she does it like it's no big deal. I'm sure off camera, she's got the same experience as me. There we go, look at how pretty, look at all squeezed and stuff. <laughs> you can see all the creases on here. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these containers. I don't even know why I got them, they're so difficult. Anywho, let's look at a, a lather test. Okay, I wanna get some water here. We still have some of our leftover product in the beaker. Oh, it feels really silky. You get the light, you get some foam from the capital, capital glucose side. Uh, it feels really creamy, silky, very luxurious actually. And it's very cleansing, which is what I was going for. When I purchase some of these gentle face washes, um, they're gentle, but I feel sometimes they're too gentle and my face still feels dirty. Uh, this feels very clean. Nice. So there you have it. We just made some strawberry vanilla gel face wash. Thank you for watching. See you next time.